All right, everyone, so tonight we're gonna to take a look at a fantastic quadcopter slash drone from a company called Force One, as you can see right down there. This is the Force One F100 Ghost. Now, this thing has actually been out for quite a while, and in fact, this is actually a rebrand of the MJX Bugs 3, um, another great drone, and by the way, there is another version of the Bugs 3 that just came out. It is the Bugs 3H, um, and the difference between that one and the one that you see here, the Force One F100 Ghost, is the fact that that one has altitude hold whereas the Bugs 3 and the F100 Ghost do not have altitude hold. So that means you're going to be manually keeping it up in the air. Um, no altitude hold available here. So in the box the Force 100 drone comes with quite a bit. So that's one major difference between the F100 that you see here and the Bugs 3. So the Bugs 3 comes with one battery uh, whereas the Force 1 F100 comes with two batteries. So these are LiPo batteries. I I believe they're 1800 milliamp hour batteries, 7.4 volt. Um, so really great and it comes with two of them so I already have one uh, connected here in the back now a few things that are missing here notice that there are no blade guards here so it does come with the blade guards I just have chosen not to use them since I've had it um, it does also come with an action camera the bugs 3 did not come with an action camera um, however there are packages where you can get it so this is a 1080p force one branded action camera and we'll take a look at how that looks um, in just a little bit so that is the drone itself now it does come with landing gear however that is optional you do not have to put those on um, I have just chosen to use them because it's a little simpler to fly it around and land it with uh, the landing gear on there so um, on the controller as you can see here there are a few things we have um, so again it's not altitude hold we just have an on off switch we have our trim trims here I have not had to use those at all we have over here our low and high so basically that's just our two gears our two speeds um, this is our start um, basically to start our blades also if you hold it down it shuts off the blades um, we have over here on the top right we have our flip button and then also a camera button now I'm not 100% sure what that camera button's for because the action camera here, notice, does not actually connect up in any way. So I'm thinking maybe you have to have a special connector in order to use that, um, but that camera button that you see right down here um, does not work with the action camera. You have to actually manually turn on the action camera, and then there's no FPV or anything like that available. So with that being said, we are going to take this thing up. This thing is a super fast drone. Um, I don't necessarily recommend it for beginners. Um, um, you probably don't want to use this as your very first drone, um, but it's fantastic. You can often find really great deals on it. I've heard people talking about getting this thing for as low as $70, uh, which is insane, um, because the package, as you see here, is available on Amazon regularly for $180. I forgot also one other thing to mention is that it does come with three other or two other covers. So there's a white one, a blue one, and I believe maybe a black one. I've pretty much just kept the white one on the whole time, so I, I can't remember the other two colors. Um, but it does come with a couple of extra covers right here um, that uh, will also are interchangeable with the MJX Bugs 3. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, take this thing up and see how it performs. All right, so in my first flight out, I didn't realize that the GoPro that I'm recording this on actually just stopped all of a sudden working. So we're gonna go ahead and try the flight again. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start it right up. So the engine start. So we're gonna hold down that red button up in the top to get it started. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take off. Now we're in high at the moment, we're in high gear. So when I take off, it's going to take off quickly. So let's go ahead and see just how fast it punches. One, two, three, go. So it punches fast. And uh, if you are not using this with full throttle, or when you are using it with full throttle, I should say, uh, it will pitch down pretty hard. So we'll see that. We'll go ahead and go by real quick. Um, so I'm gonna bring it over to my left here and I will pitch it right down. So you can see that if you let it pitch down, it will pitch down really hard. Now, one thing you'll notice is that on the bottom of it, we do have some LED lights. Let's bring it back over just a little bit. All right, so on the bottom we have, well, let's start out with the front. On the front, we have that uh, LED, bright LED light that is visible both in pretty much any kind of lighting. Um, but also in the front, we have the white LED lights and then the blue LED lights in the back. So really great for orientating uh, the 
quadcopter here. So now let's go ahead and do some flips, practice those. Um, so we're gonna hit the flip button and then go in any direction. So we'll go ahead and start with a flip to the uh, right here. So whoop, lost a little bit of altitude when I did it. That's because I didn't have it uh, holding altitude. So now let's go ahead and flip it backwards. And one more time. All right, so flip and one more. There we go. So the flips work really, really well. Um, and the rates uh, side to side, you can see it's super fast. Um, it will pitch quite hard if you give it full throttle going forward. So let's go ahead and see that. There we go. So pretty hard pitches. Um, this thing does fly quickly. Has a lot of, lot of gas on it, that's for sure. No shortage of power with this drone, for sure. Now it looks like I'm getting pretty close to those lines. Um, I'm actually still on one side of the road. Those lines are on the other side of the road, so don't worry about those. The thing we can worry about are the trees right over here. See the moon up there with the drone. Um, so this thing can go quite high. Um, I think I've had it probably as high as maybe 300 feet. Now, remember this thing does not have altitude hold. So as long as you're holding up on the uh, throttle, it's going to go up. It's just gonna keep going up. And uh, it will beep at you once you get out of range. Um, so that's great. One of my favorite things to let it do is to just free fall because it does such a great job of maintaining uh, speed after. But yeah, just a lot of fun. Uh, this is a great drone if you're already used to something that flies really well um, and you want something with just a little bit more fun to it. You know, compared to my Mavic Air, this thing is more fun. Obviously it doesn't take nearly as good a video or photos or anything like that. Um, this one is a lot more manual than the Mavic Air. Uh, there is no, obviously I could easily crash into those trees, whereas with the Mavic Air, we have all kinds of fail safes, um, but this thing is just a ton of fun to learn how to fly a drone. Now, I wouldn't say that I wouldn't use this as your very first drone um, because of how much power it has. Um, just everything about this thing is not really beginner friendly unless you're out in a wide open space like this. You definitely want to be in a wide open space if this is your very first drone. Um, and I'd not sure I would recommend it for a first drone to be honest with you because of how much power it does have. But yeah, tons of fun. This is the Force One F100 Ghost.